All right, today we want to tell you about one of the most underrated underdog 4x4 builds for overlanding. That's the 2022 GX460. Let's jump in and take a look. All right, so here at the front of the vehicle, we want to talk about the modifications that have been made. So first, our covert bumper. It's a CBI off-road covert front bumper. You can see this bumper is a combination of plating and tubing here on the side. So you have full protection on the front as well as on the wings. It's built to fit the front of this Lexus, which is a little difficult with this grill that they have. You have factory uh, shackle points or D-ring recovery points that are built in. These are soft shackle compatible. Of course, winch mounting is totally a great option to consider and one of the best features of this bumper. You can mount a winch anywhere from 8,000 to 12,000 pounds. Um, most of those winches are going to work just fine. We have our full aluminum skid plate, so that's front all the way to the back. Um, we also have on this particular build a worn Xeon winch with the flat link here on the front, which I think is just a really nice feature to, uh, you know, make sure you can get yourself unstuck when you get, you know, bogged down and, and it looks really nice on the front. Overall, other than that, on the front end, this is a totally stock GX460. So this gives you a really great setup for kind of the weekend warrior. Gives you plenty of protection and you can get out and have some fun. So let's talk wheels and tires and suspension. So this GX460 is running the Peak Summit Kit, which is their 2.5 inch remote reservoir shocks. Um, these shocks are really awesome because they have both rebound and compression adjustments. So you can fine tune this ride however you want, whatever works best for the type of trail or terrain that you're on. Um, it's a great suspension kit. It's going to give you about two and a half to three inches of lift. It is a coilover setup on the front. Again, you have the remote reservoir with adjustability on the back. We're also running the peak upper control arm. So it's a tubular upper control arm. Tire wise, we're running a pretty good sized tire on this. It's a 29570. Now this is the Toyo Open Country AT3, um, which is a really great hybrid tire. We like it again from a weekend warrior's per perspective. It's a great tire for on-road, off-road use. It's a good all season tire. Um, so that's why we chose that on this particular build. And then these are race line wheels with the, the polished finish, which I think looks really great with the magnetic gray. These are an 18 inch uh, simulated beadlock wheel. You can see the tire really fills in the wheel well, and it gives this thing just a really solid off-road stance, which I like. I think it fits the GX460 perfectly. Here on the front of the vehicle, we've got our CBI ditch light brackets. Um, we're running the full array of rigid lights on this vehicle. So these are the three amber 360s from rigid, um, which is a great option on this side to, to angle out into the side of the road or to the ditch if we call it, and gives you good um, visibility at night when you're both on road and off on the trail. If we go to the roof of the vehicle, we're running the Prinsu Pro roof rack. And as you can see on this vehicle it is fully loaded. So we've got the wind deflector with the light bar cut out. We're running a rigid radiance 40 inch light bar. Back from that, we've got the uh, treads recovery boards. And then we've got two sets of Rome cases. They're cargo cases with the quick release mounts. And then on the very back, we've got a rinse kit. So I think it's a pretty solid setup as far as the roof rack um, configuration with the gear and gives you a lot of options for those weekend warrior trips. As far as the, the rock slider area here, we're running the CBI uh, full rock sliders. Now, what I really like about these rock sliders is they not only are a true rock slider, so you can support the weight of the vehicle, um, but they also function as a great step. So you can see their step areas built into the sliders, easy to, to jump up and get to your roof rack or whatever it may be. Um, getting in and out of the vehicle, you have that access point there, which is really nice. And you got full rocker protection. So if you look down the side of this vehicle, you can see the rock slider sticks out far enough to protect the whole side of the vehicle. Rock sliders are also a great option if you're looking for kind of a recovery lift situation. If you need to put your high lift jack on these rock sliders, then you can definitely do that. If we go a little more towards the back, 
we're running a, a Rome 270 degree awning. Again, that is mounted directly to the side of the Prince Sue Pro roof rack. On the very back here, we have our window accessory panels. This is a fairly new uh, option for Prince Sue and one that I really like as well. You can see the versatility for it. So we've got anything that's fairly small and lightweight that you want to keep on the outside of the vehicle for easy access when you're out on the trail or camping is a great solution for the accessory panels. All right, so here at the rear of the vehicle, we want to talk about the Prinsu ladder. This again is a really functional feature that you can add for any of your roof racks um, on a vehicle like this GX. This ladder does open with the, the swing gate. So if you pop this like that, you can see it, it goes with it. Really is a simple, easy function. It's easy to use um, and is a great accessory on the back. One other thing that I'll mention, if we just open this up here, you can see we've got the full goose gear uh, base plate set up. We also have an ARB uh, refrigerator and then storage space over on this side. So we've got actually another cooler cooler in our jackery in here currently. Um, but again, as far as a weekend warrior setup, this is a solid setup for the back of the vehicle. Gives you the ability to camp out of it really easily and bring your gear along and just go out and have some fun. Last thing on the back here, if you look in the receiver hitch, we're running the CBI uh, shackle point off the receiver hitch, which is a great option again for those recovery scenarios. All right, so that's our 2022 GX460. Uh, like I said, this is a very underrated, kind of the underdog in the off-road world right now. It's quickly become one of our favorite off-road overlanding vehicles. So be sure and follow along as we build this vehicle out and use it. And if you have any questions, be sure and comment below. We'll get those answered. Um, like and subscribe to the channel and follow along for more awesome builds that are CBI and Prince who equipped.